hey what is up YouTube back at it again with another tutorial video so today I'm going to do a tutorial in response to my previous video on how to create a custom image for your start menu button in classic shell software now first things first when you open classic shell you notice that at the start menu style at the replace start button option here there's an option for you to click the custom option in which you can pick an image for you guys to replace this start menu button for your own favorite pictures now one thing to notice is that the only image that the classic shell accept for you guys to replace the start menu button is only in BMP file or a PNG file mostly or usually a picture usually be in JPEG file so we it can't accept JPEG file it only accept BMP or PNG so what we need to do is we have to create a PNG file or BMP file but I prefer to create a PNG file because it is much much easier so uh, first we just minimize this thing alright so in case if you guys uh, knows how to use Photoshop then just go and open Photoshop and in case if you don't know how to use Photoshop go and learn first uh, I'll leave a link in the description to download a Photoshop portable but in my desktop here is a Photoshop CS6 it doesn't have any much of a difference it can still be usable for you guys to create this custom image so just use the Photoshop portable don't worry it will be the same way as what I'm doing right now so first when you have Photoshop what you need to do is open the Photoshop and it will be just like this and now what you need to do first is go to file and then click new now in the preset just let it be custom and for width let's pick 125 in pixels right because we don't want the photos to be too big or too small 125 is the best fit and then the height shall be three times the the length of the width all right and the resolution I prefer it to be 150 so that it will be a higher resolution photos and the color mode I prefer it to be RGB color and the background content just click transparent don't click white don't click background color uh, click transparent because we want to create a picture with a transparent background so that when we replace the image for the start menu button here uh, the picture won't have a white box alright so once everything is set up just click OK and then we're open just like this alright so what we need to do is go to file and then we click place because we want to pick our uh, own image to be placed on our canvas here so I have some of my photos here let's say I pick this photo instead now this photos has a white background so first I put this thing on the top alright and then I want to duplicate these photos because these photos uh, has the same dimension ratio of 1 and 1 right so we need to duplicate these photos to be a tree identical image right so what we need to do is go to the layer here alright just click uh, just right click and then just click duplicate and then click OK and then from here you can either just go to edit and then click transform on a free transform and then drag it down to the middle then click the tick alright so we have to do one more time but this time just use a shortcut just click just press ctrl T and then drag it down more alright so we created three identical image now I told you uh, in my previous video before in in this image the upper one will be the one that will be showed on the start menu button the middle one will be the one when I hover my mouse alright and the below one will be the one that will be the one when we clicked right I want the the middle one the one when my, when my mouse is hover will be a little bit dark so we go to the middle layer here alright this three layers are in smart object alright if you notice it will be in smart object so what we need to do is just click this eraser and then just click on image and just press ok do this to all of the layers 
all right once we done that and then just click this magic wand and then make sure we are doing with which layer we are actually dealing with so now we're dealing with the top layer so just click this magic wand tool and then just click the white background at the back and then easily just press delete so that we'll be deleting the white background at the back all right so let's go to another layer this one the middle one and then just click delete and then the third one delete now in case you guys uh, have difficulty on deleting the white background don't worry you just need to like zoom and then just click the eraser tool and then just erase the white, white background according to your size of desires here all right all right so once you've done that but still i want the one uh the image to be dark when i hover so i need to deal with the middle one so i just press the shortcut which is control u to open the hue and saturation and i uh, drag the slider to the left have a negative amount let's say negative 50 so that will be darker and then once I've done that what I need to do we just go to file once you're satisfied just go to files and then click save as then just go to wherever location you wanted to save and then on the format uh, pick PNG under the Pixar PNG here and rename whatever you want let's say we rename it start menu all right and then just click OK and then you are done so close Photoshop uh, no I don't want to save all right so open back the classic shell what you need to do is just go to the pick image and then pick the image that you've just created just click there and then once you notice here that the image has already changed from the one before all right but I prefer to be used the, the this one instead alright so once you've picked your image and then just click OK so there you have it you have your own custom start menu button so that is it thank you guys subscribe to my channel and if you like what you're seeing leave a thumbs up down below if you have any comment or anything to ask just leave a comment and thank you guys for watching